Welcome back to Miss Whitehouse's virtual classroom. Today, my assistant will be Stumpy, my three-legged cat. So he's going to be here in and out of the scene, of course, just like fur, but she's asleep in her basket. We're going to do an experiment with water, baking soda, rice, and vinegar. We need a clear jar, a one cup measuring, something to stir with, and there goes stump, a teaspoon, and a tablespoon. And we're gonna get kind of wacky with it all too. So first we're going to put one cup of water, and hopefully you can do this at home if mom and dad can find these supplies in the house we're supposed to be staying in our house and not going crazy going places and I'm pouring it in there there we go got a few drips that's okay I'm just gonna wipe it up like we do when we spill at school now I want two teaspoons two teaspoons Oh, got a little splishy splashy there. And that's okay too. Splishy splashy, and we get a little heaping on those oh, teaspoons there. Take your stir. It's cloudy in the beginning. That's our baking soda. And it's going to mix and dissolve into the water. And our water is going to become clear as we continue to stir our water. Give it a good stir here and wait for that clearing to take. Stirring, stirring, stirring. And I can begin to see it clear. Can you begin to see it clear? Now I can see my little knife that I'm using to stir with. So I reached the clear point and I'm going to put the rice in and let's see what happens to our rice when we dump it in there. Okay, some of my rice has gone to the bottom. That's called sinking. Some of my rice has stayed at the top. That's called floating. So we have some sink and some float going on here. Now we're going to put a tablespoon of vinegar into this mixture and see what happens. Oh, lots of fizz. I have bubbles on top. And this fizz has caused some of my rice to start to dance. It's going up and down. I'm going to go ahead and add another tablespoon of vinegar in there. And that's created even more fizz. There's a reaction between our vinegar and our baking soda. Oh, there are bubbles. And the bubbles are helping the rice to do a dance. And the bubbles are carbon dioxide. I I'm going to put one more tablespoon and then I'm going to let it. So we've put three tablespoons in there so far. And I'm going to sit back and we're going to watch this for just a second to see what happens to our rice. As these bubbles begin to form and to move around. I 
see some more ice dancing. And hopefully at home, if you're doing this too, you can see your rice dancing and moving up and down in the jar. If we let it sit there for a little bit, we'll see the rice continue to dance. lot of dancing going on in the front so I'm hoping that you can see this at home in my jar and I'm hoping if you've done it at home with your jar that you can see the rice dancing you can also do this with apple seeds if you have an apple for lunch and you save the seeds from your apple you can try making the apple seeds dance as well Well, continue to watch your jar at home and watch your seeds and you can even, or rice, you can even add more vinegar and see what happens. Now it's our experiment. 